Yeah. 
Hi, I'm Michael Smith with the Nevada Trails. I'm with Clark, the captain of Safari Rose, and we're just having a great time. And tell you, sir, I'm really enjoying your uh, uh, talking about the trivia of the lake, and uh, uh, especially I really liked when you turned off the music and whatnot and talked about the sounds of the ospreys. We had some good sound bird whistles coming through, and it was really nice. And there's a lot of kids on this particular uh, voyage, and we got a chance to learn from nature, and uh, that's always fun when they're happy as well. So thank you very much for all the hard work, and we just got done with a gourmet dinner, and my wife and her, um, my mother-in-law, who's here for her birthday, are having the best time, so I want to thank you and your staff, and we just want to appreciate it. Well, I'm glad. That's, uh, that's like what we want to hear, that's for sure. Well, you mentioned when you were, uh, we passed in the Dixie that you used to drive that boat for a little bit of time? I was a relief captain on it many, many years ago, and... Uh, I didn't drive it very often, uh, but uh, I started up here on the Tahoe Queen and relief on the Dixie, but I ran the Tahoe Queen quite a while. Well, I tell you, I took my mom in that boat uh, two years ago, and it's kind of like a big cafeteria. You're kind of on these big, big tables, and we didn't have the, the, the couches and the family atmosphere you have here. You know, it's nice to look out the window, but you can't beat the Safari Rose. How long have you been captain of this boat? Uh, well, I ran it for him for about 10 years, then I took off to uh, Alaska worked for a small cruise ship company and ran their, their boat for him for five years. And then uh, I got talked into coming back uh, to drive this beautiful boat uh, on Lake Tall, so I took, uh, jumped at the chance and came on back. Well, I tell you, you've got skills and we really appreciate you being here. Uh, how did you end up choosing a line of work like being a captain of a boat? Oh, well, you know, I was just uh, like everyone when you're younger, you really don't know what you're going to do for a career. And I got uh, a friend of mine was uh, mentioned that uh, he worked on a, a small cruise ship. And I decided, well, let's give that a try. So I went on as a deckhand 35 years ago and fell in love with it and decided this is what I was going to do for a living. Well, you have a tough view every day. Yeah. Uh, I, right now we're just kind of panning, we're, uh, we're heading back in, and it's just absolutely perfect day. Is there any particular uh, trips that you particularly like yourself? I, I know you had a morning cruise with a lot of young people. Well, my uh, this is my favorite, the Emerald Bay Cruise. Uh, we're, uh, it's three hours long, you get to take your time. Uh, like you said, you get a great meal. And, uh, but uh, there's a little more narration which uh, we, we try not to narrate too much because we don't uh, want to take away from the scenery of Tahoe, which speaks for itself. That's true. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's my favorite. It's a nice, leisurely, take-your-time cruise, and, uh, and it's, we can tell how much everyone enjoys it. So. Well, every time you get some fun facts about a certain area of the lake, I, I notice a lot of people are taking pictures and you're getting their attention and the people are paying attention to you. So it's, it's pretty good. I, I like it to myself. And um, like you said, this is my second trip on the Safari Rose. And I tell you, I absolutely love it. Last time was a rainstorm, though. And then we, even then we had a good time. <laughs> it was uh, the first, I think, the first of the season. Uh -oh. And we had all the staff and the crew, was, you know, all the workers on land were here. And just to, my parents were here. And it just happened to be one of those rainstorm things. But oh, yeah. we went and kissed the rock by the Godfather's Mansion or something. And oh, wonderful. So it was a long cruise. I think... Uh, this one's just right. <laughs> Three hours is just a you know, great period of time. And then uh, when you get back in, you'll be going back back out again? Oh, uh, we are. We have a busy, uh, busy day today. We've got five trips a day. And uh, this is our longest one. We've already had one this morning, and uh, now this one. So normally we're running three trips a day. Uh, two go to Emerald Bay, and one of them runs the uh, Nevada side. Uh, so. Uh, our new location at Ski Run Marina is fantastic. We love it. Well, we got uh, we got picked up, and then uh, from our our house, and they went to Harris and Harvey's to pick up some more guests. And we had plenty of space in the van, and I think he had 48 guests on this particular yacht trip. So yep. we had plenty of chance to. Um, we're, we've been in um, in the bar area and on a couch and a, and a nice chairs, and then we've been in the back in the sunroom. We've been uh, up front on the bow. And then we were, we were just had lunch on top of the on top of the boat. In each place, we had plenty of space. Oh, good. Yeah, so, we uh, we don't want to. We're certified for a lot more than 48, but uh, 
we try not to run any more than 60 people. Uh, gives everyone the space they need, the room, they without feeling crowded. And uh, the last thing you want to do is come out on this beautiful lake and feel like you're crowded. Oh yeah, is this under a family ownership type thing? It is. It's a privately owned, and uh, they're uh, they're real good owners. They take real good care of the boat. They. Uh, they spend an amazing amount of time and money maintaining it because it is a wooden boat and uh, being built in 1959, uh, there's a, a lot to maintain and keep up on. Could you uh, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the Safari Rose? I know you did in the very beginning. It's a, uh, like I said, built in 1959. It was built and designed for the 3M executives in Miami, Florida. Uh, through a series of owners, it ended up in Seattle doing some trips to Alaska. And then it sat for a few years just falling apart where the current owner uh, bought it and spent a year up there, not only living on the boat, but living uh, in Seattle trying to put this boat back together by himself. And he did a fantastic job. It's beautiful. Um, then it was uh, brought up here. And that is when I met the owner. I uh, offered my services to pilot the boat up the Columbia Snake Rivers where we put it on the biggest trailer we could find and uh, trailer it up to Lake Tahoe. It's been here for 15 years. That is fantastic. Well, I tell you, if you're going to do a, uh, a trip, I've been on the Blue Wave, I've been on the Tahoe Star, I've been on the Dixie. And this is my second time on the Safari Rose and hands down the Safari Rose is the best, best option. One, comfort. Two, you can get a gourmet meal. Three, everyone's friendly, including the um, the patrons are all friendly as well. We're having a great time meeting people. You just don't feel sardined or pressured. It's just a nice relaxation, and uh, I highly recommend it. Well, I'll tell you, this is, uh, I really do appreciate your time. I know you have to get back to the uh, doing some trivia. So thank you for being on the Bad Trails, Clark. And this is Michael Smith reporting from Tahoe, or the, uh, the Safari <laughs> Rose. Thank you. My pleasure.